Hey, what's up guys? So I just kind of wanted to take a couple minutes, get everybody caught up to speed on what's going on in my life. I've been getting a lot of questions and uh, figured I'd just make a second video and, and answer some of the things that I've been receiving. I first wanted to say I'm humbled by the response that my video got. It's been viewed millions and millions of times. People all over the country have been calling me, texting me, sending me emails, comments, and uh, the overwhelming majority of it, of it has been positive. And so I think that's pretty cool because my whole thought process on making that video was trying to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the public. And I've seen both sides with open arms willing to embrace that. And I think that's a step in the right direction. So that's pretty cool. One thing that I've seen come up over and over in the comments and I've been an email sent to me is, are you gonna get in trouble? What, what happened to you? Or is there any discipline being, being uh, or any discipline taking place? And so I figured I'd, I'd take a chance and give you a little synopsis of the last three days of my life after posting that video. Um, so I posted the video on Tuesday, was it May 5th? And it, it took pretty, you know, it took a day or two before it really started getting a lot of traction. But the next morning when I woke up on the 6th, it was only, I think it was only at a few thousand views. And I had received a message from my command saying, wow, Greg, what a powerful message. We agree with that 100%, well done. And that was actually a relief for me because I was like, great, you know, I know that it's risky putting something out like that, but I felt like it was so grounded in integrity and liberty that no one would have an issue with it. So that was, that was a relief. And then fast forward three hours later, I get another phone call from my command and it said, hey, hey Greg, the video's up to 400,000 views. It's time to pull the plug on this thing. And I immediately, it, it kind of caught me off guard because I said, why would, why would we want to pull the plug on something that was already acknowledged as a good and powerful message from one law enforcement officer to others? And uh, I said, yeah, that doesn't really make sense to me. I think maybe we should embrace this message and we should share this with other officers. And he said, listen, you know, it's not up to me. I have been directed to tell you to take the video down and I need to know if you're gonna take the video down. And I, I said, no, I can't take the video down because if you listen to my first video, the whole message that I was trying to share with people and impart on them is if you believe in something in your heart, you have to stand by that conviction, even if it costs you everything. And like I said last time, I have three little kids. I have this house, I have another house. I cannot afford to lose my job. But after putting that message out there and sharing that with America, and it was so well received, I can't then just say, even though that's what I believe, I'm gonna take a step back, I'm gonna retract my words, and I'm gonna allow my command to prevent me from sharing my heart and my truth. And I said, so with that, with that in mind, sir, I can't take the video down. And, uh, you know, I didn't know where this was gonna go. And I immediately started thinking about what are they gonna try and gig me on? You know, what did I do wrong? What policy did I violate? And uh, I got called back a couple hours later. And by this time, it was skyrocketing. Everyone in the agency was seeing it. Cops from when I was a, an officer down in Los Angeles, they were contacting me. I got a call and it said, listen, the video needs to be taken down right now and you need to accept a letter of reprimand. Or we're gonna take a very different approach to this if you say no again. Well, I'd already put myself on that hill and I had to, I had to be willing to die on that hill. They said they determined the video was a violation of policy and uh, that if I wouldn't take it down, that allegations would be made against me and so on and so on. And so I told them, no, I'm not gonna take it down. You do what you need to do. But the principle of it is rooted in truth and it was a positive message that was received by millions and millions of people. If you want me to take it down, I have to, I have to respectfully refuse. And it was interesting because they kept citing different policies you know, like, oh, was the, the social media policy or some of your equipment may have been identifiable. And that kind of seemed like a moot point to me. And it was strange because 
why was the message okay at 5 a.m. and then three hours later, there was a problem with it. And so I was later contacted by the chief of police. He's someone that I have great respect for. He's a good man to work for. And he's the one that shot me straight. And he said, Greg, if you openly defy your governor, you can't be a police officer in the state of Washington. And uh, I told him, I said, you know what? I can respect that. And if I were in your office, I would shake your hand, respectfully disagree, and say, maybe I'm not meant to be a police officer in the state of Washington then. And, and here's my thoughts on that, okay? You have to do your research. You have to figure out what your true north is, what your truth is, and where you stand on issues. For me personally, I, I believe that the Constitution supersedes all other documents, all other laws. There's case law supporting that. If you look at Marbury versus Madison, 1803, it says any laws, any future laws created that are repugnant, meaning in conflict with the Constitution, are null and void. So when I look at how I feel comfortable enforcing the law, and I see people exercising constitutional rights, it doesn't matter if there's different executive orders, requests from mayors, requests from governors. For, to me, the Constitution supersedes that, and I'm gonna stand with the people. Well, unfortunately, you know, higher up in all agencies, there's a political game being played, and now I am on a administrative leave status pending termination. I was told by both the agency and the union that I was asked to take it down and I refused. So that's refusing a direct order. It's an insubordination charge and it will result in me ultimately being let go from the agency. And I said, you know what, if that's what you guys have to do, if, if that video is so bad that you wanna take my career from me and you want to leave my, you know, like pot potentially take my ability away to provide for my family, because of that video, do it. Because I'm gonna stand by my convictions, just like I said in my last video. Um, so yeah, it's weird, you know, how fast your life can change in a week. It's, uh, it's something that I never thought would happen. I never thought that I would make a video that would resonate with millions of people. But you know, my head is held high. I, uh, I'm not intimidated or upset by how this played out. Like I said in my last video, man, I fought in the streets of Ramadi during 04 and 05. I came to terms long ago that my convictions and my beliefs may cost me everything up into my life. And even though it's 15 years later and I'm a police officer in Seattle, Washington, that truth still remains for me. So I don't have an option to back down or feel sorry for myself or give in and say, you know what, I got kids and I think I'm just gonna take the letter. No, if they wanna do me like this for standing up for liberty, they can do that. Uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Um, you know, it's on to the new adventure for me. I've been, I've been doing different things my whole life and uh, I'm actually excited to tell you the truth. Uh, if you know of anyone accepting resumes, hit me up because I might need it in the near future. But, uh, you know, I've always wanted to circumnavigate the globe on a sailboat, so maybe it's time to chase that dream. Anyways, I appreciate all the support, guys. Take care.